Let's create chrome effect in Adobe Photoshop. I have kept my document size to 1920 by 1080 pixels with a resolution of 300. As you can see, I have already created a rectangle to act as my background. Now, let's lock the rectangle layer so we don't move it by mistake. So, before we start, let's go to Edit, then click on Preferences, and then click on Technology Previews, and make sure Deactivate Native Canvas is checked. If it's not checked, you might get preview errors while doing the 3D part of this tutorial. Now click on OK and make sure to restart Photoshop after checking this option. Now let's start by selecting the type tool and type the word Chrome. Now select the move tool and click on the text. For the font we are using super wibbly font and for the font size we'll keep it to 80 points. Now let's center align the text. Now select the text and click on Windows then click on 3D. You will get this 3D panel. Make sure 3D extrusion is selected, then click on Create. As you can see, the text has changed into 3D. Now let's give it a chrome look. We have the properties panel here. Now we'll uncheck Cat Shadow and Cast Shadow and change the extrusion depth to zero. Now let's click on the third icon and set sides to front and back. In contour, click on the down arrow and select the seventh option. Set the angle to 90 and strength to 40. Your text would look something like this so far. Now in the 3D panel, select the first chrome front material and in the properties panel click on this down arrow and select the checker material. This is how the material will take shape onto our text. We'll set the metallic to 100 to get that chrome like effect. Scroll down and click on the environment icon and select edit texture. We'll get the checker material that we just applied in a new canvas like this. Let's add an HDRI image on this. As you can see, I have a few images here, and the download link for this HDRI pack will be in the description below. Now, drag the HDRI image and drop it on the canvas. Now scale the image till it covers the whole canvas like so. And click Control plus S to save it. Now, if we go back to our main file, you'll see the HDRI has already taken effect on our text. You can try as many HDRIs as you like, till you get your desired look. Select the image and press delete on your keyboard and repeat the previous steps. We'll go ahead with this HDRI. Now select the text and click on Layers Panel. Now let's make a duplicate of this layer by pressing Control plus J. And then create a new layer by clicking this plus icon. Now hold Shift and select the new layer and the Chrome copy layer and press Control plus E to merge these layers. Then click on the eye icon to hide the main Chrome layer. Now click on the Adjustment Layer icon and select Brightness and Contrast. Keep Brightness to minus 20 and Contrast to 10. We did a simple color correction. Now select the background layer and unlock it. Click on the Shape layer and click on Fill. Then select the Gradient option. Now click on the black and white slider and you will get this gradient editor panel. Double click on the black box and take your cursor to the color you want and left click and click on OK. Now do the same with the white box. Keep the stroke to none. Now go to filter, click on noise, then click on add noise. 
Now click on Convert to Smart Object, keep amount to 8, and click on OK. And we are done. Hope you liked the tutorial. Hope you got to learn something new. Thanks for watching. See you in the next tutorial.